What's up, fans? It's KP. I'm styling at Dragacon with one of our favorite stars of TV and movies, Mr. Edward James. Almost. All right. So I, you know, I, I gotta say, I'm, I'm a little, I'm a, li a little intimidated. Right. So I, I'm new to this game a little bit, and it's very, um, it's very fun for me, but it's a little intimidating. Right. I mean, I know you from so much TV. Right. Grown up, Miami Vice. Right. Battlestar Galactica, and then you with movies, right? Stand and Deliver, Selena, Blade. I mean, now you got Green Hornet. I'm a little in awe, I gotta say. Thank you, thank you very much. And uh, at the same time, it's, you know, it's all fun. I'm very, I live a very privileged life. I'm very grateful to be here. Dragon Con is a tremendous place. Um, it actually rivals uh, Comic Con, not by the size, but by the commitment of its fans. The fan base here is a little different than the one that goes to Comic-Con in San Diego. That one is huge. Doesn't See, Comic-Con in San Diego doesn't rival the ones in Japan either. Oh, yeah. They get into millions of people. First American Board Latino to be nominated for Academy Award for Best Actor. All right, now does that exposure uh, at that time um, help bring in more people to perhaps some of those sci-fi arenas that perhaps maybe weren't there? in the past? Yeah, it draws attention to the genre. I think that more uh, uh, people came on to uh, this genre, were attracted to the genre by the, well, my participation in it and the understanding of uh, what the show was dealing with uh, when it came to Battlestar Galactica. And that opened up a whole new group of people to see this show. Fans who love this genre uh, speak about this genre to other people and brought them deeper into the understanding of it. And for those of you that don't really know about Battlestar Galactica, it, it's like um, uh, any original storytelling dramatic show that uh, we've ever seen on television before, say for like uh, West Wing or um, NYPD Blue or this is just in space, that's all. <laughs> well, you've told a lot of very different stories, right? It hasn't just been you playing a role. There's a, it seems that all your projects have been distinct stories. Yeah, I, I choose my stories to my passion. I mean, I, I'm, I'm a good actor. I'm not a great actor. But if I believe in the story that I'm talking about and if the script is really well written, uh, I can become a great artist. <laughs> it depends on the story and on the quality of the uh, artistry of the, the, the written work. And, and is it easier as, a, as an actor um, to work with uh, a story based in, in reality, like, a, like a Selena, or is it uh, more for you to do like Battlestar Galactica, where you have, a, there's a lot of more openness to how you may present that story? You know, I think they're both realities, and you create them because you're, you're, it's a dramatic art form. It's not a documentational art form in respects of using it as a documentary. Uh, um, so dramatic film is, is fiction. So basically uh, it's just about telling human drama sto stories about the human drama. And, uh, that, and you can do it in, in either genre. In Selena it was a true story, but again it was dramatized so it was fictionalized. Okay. Um, Battlestar is not a true story but it's dramatized and the creation of that world becomes a reality to all that watch it and that's what makes the magic of television motion picture and theater. Well, uh, thanks for all the magic that you brought both to TV and movies. Uh, thank, as, a, as a fan, thank you for your good work. Thank you guys. Right. And I'm styling. <laughs> you are styling. He's styling, I'm styling. I'm KP here at Dragon Con. More to come. Stylinonline.com Good morning. Good morning, little red light. I love you. <laughs> they go to their comic cons. Right. And uh, if you've never been to a convention, you should try one, man. You'll like it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Hey. Ho. Hey. <laughs>
Boba Fett. Uh, Highlander. The Empire Strikes Back. Doctor Who. Star Trek The Next Generation was my favorite. Scooby-Doo. Well, at the moment, it would be True Blood. True Blood. True Blood. I have to say True Blood, too. She-Ra. Doctor Who. Star Wars, Episode 4. Firefly, without a doubt. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Joker, obviously. Family Guy. <laughs> Good choice.